Hello online, pipe community, Ethan, parsimonious piper here. Boy, some days sure get away from you, don't they? Today we have a parsimonious pipe. Before we take a closer look, in it, in it, I have got some Esoterica Stonehaven. That is this week's blend. And we'll talk about that in some depth on Tuesday. Today's parsimonious pipe. You guessed it. A pipe by Lee. This is a three-star, seven-pointed stars, three-star billiard, very classic shape. Took some cleanup. Let's take a closer look. You can't really see it from the before and after here quite as much. The top before picture uh, belies the fact that uh, this pipe was grimy. I, it, it actually doesn't look nearly as bad now that I see it in pictures as it did in person. The rim on this was just completely cook, uh, caked in lava. That took quite a bit of cleaning to get off. You can still see in the after shot, there's some darkening around the outside of the, the rim and the inner uh, part of the rim. I leave it. Anybody who's new to seeing uh, my cleanup slash restoration jobs, I do not over restore these pipes. They are not intended for resale. They are intended for me to smoke and those scars remind me somebody loved this pipe before I do. I took one more shot down inside the bowl so that you could see just how tight this was. I do not have large hands and I could not get my pinky all the way down to the bottom of the bowl. This was also completely blocked. You could not, uh, you couldn't draw or blow through the, uh, the stummel through the bowl. It was caked up so tightly and uh, such that uh, there, there was no draft hole left. I had to use an auger and a a knife to get that completely undone. Now you can see after reaming it and cleaning it out, it has a normal sized bowl now. The white balance is a little bit off in this internal comparison. However, you can see that the internals were a little grimy. Not too bad, but uh, not nearly as bad as the bowl itself was, but they still did need a considerable amount of cleaning and uh, they came out pretty well couple closing shots just so that you can get an idea of what the grain looks like. There is a lot of bird's eye on each side of this pipe and then we've got this uh, straight grain going uh, right down the top and bottom of the stem and uh, up the that side of the bowl as you can see there. Here's a shot of the bird's eye on the opposite side. Those two fills look in this picture like they are connected by a crack or not quite connected. I tell you what, when I use a loop, uh, I cannot see that crack. Um, I, I wonder if I had, if there that's a hair or something, I, I'm gonna have to get back down uh, in there just to see. Uh, at any rate, I'm gonna smoke it regardless. Uh, again, not for resale, but this pipe really does have lovely grain. At 37 and change, not too bad a purchase. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy with it. Smoking rather well. Israel, SoCal Piper, told me the other day I needed to do a yeard update. All right, well, you guys get to see this thing every day. We are at just under four and a half months, so a little over a third of the way through the year. If I pull this stuff out instead of grooming it down, I am already making some crazy, crazy, crazy length on the sides. And the, uh, the neck stuff has started to fill in. There's still a gap just right under here um, that I, I can cover if I groom. I'm gonna let it go because the all of the beard sites say if you're gonna grow a year, don't touch it. Um, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with that spot if it doesn't fill in after a year, but all right, I'll follow their directions. And besides, that uh, satisfies the lazy person in me. Um, I am finally getting the uh, the mustache not to to curl too much at the tips, trying to get it to come out mostly straight out to the side working all right. 
my first experience with uh, using mustache wax. It's been fun. Now, my wife hates all of it. She likes me. She prefers me with a beard. She does not like it this long and bushy. She's really not going to like it when we still have almost two thirds of the year <laughs> left to go. And, uh, and we wind up at the other end of this thing um, looking like a shrubbery. At any rate, folks, find yourself some estate pipes that you can give some new life to. Find yourself a blend that you might, uh, you might revisit and enjoy. I've had this Stonehaven before. We're going to see what I think of it second time around. And, as always, light something you like. Enjoy your afternoon.